Hello, this is fish bone or zigzag cactus, also known as Epiphyia angulorum. I like it so much, so I bought two more, which I'm going to report. As I mentioned before in one of my previous videos about what to do with newly purchased cactus, I'm going to report, first of all, to uh, provide more suitable potting mix, well, at least in my opinion, and also to check what's working there, if anything, in roots. And I've, looking at this one, I've got my suspicious. You will also find quite often uh, in plants like that, that the suppliers just put a few cuttings together to make one plant. So it's easy then to separate the, uh, all those cuttings and check individual roots. I've already made a video about epiphytic cacti in my collection, but just to summarize, lots of um, indirect uh, bright light. Um, also, water still in winter, but uh, just uh, not so much like in obviously the spring and summer, just to keep it going, uh, in contrast to desert cacti. As you can see, there's some white deposit around the root system. So I'm going to clean off all those roots and check it properly. I can't see any mealy bugs as such, but it's better to be safe than sorry, especially that they are really nasty beasts, which can lurk there and you can't see them until the damage, proper damage is uh, done. So, as I said, it's better to keep an eye on it. So the method I'm going to use, which I'll show you in a moment, I've learned from Claire on Cactus Cough. But have a look as well in those spots. There's some white deposit, which looks really suspicious and I don't really like it. So that's why I'm going to clean properly those roots. I'm going to dispose those spots, but obviously you can sterilize and reuse it. So what you need is a bowl with uh, warm water, obviously not boiling water, a um, drop of cinnamon oil and a drop of washing liquid. So I'm going to put those uh, plants in this mixture and then properly clean all those nooks and crannies which are quite difficult sometimes to get into so all the roots will be properly washed off any larva and x of those um, suspected uh, millipacks can you see this white stuff there so it might be one of those horrible horrible things <laughs> I just hate them to the passion. And then millibags, spider mites, thrives, etc. Et okay. So all now it will be washed off. And then you can leave the plant overnight to dry its roots off. Or you can use a kitchen towel, paper towel to dry them off. So I left them like around 20-30 minutes to dry off. If you were to put plants with wet roots straight into the potting mix, it, the rot may set in because obviously there might be as well damage to the roots was handling them. So the potting mix that I'm using is a bit of horticultural sand, perlite, pumice, bark, John Inns number two, and active uh, charcoal. charcoal. So I'm putting all those cuttings which are which have dried up now all together to make a nice uh, bowl. As you could see, it's a, a hanging basket with a drainage hole. So I water them uh, when the soil has uh, dried out a bit, but I don't leave it as long sometimes as I can with a desert cacti. Okay, 
Uh, also, if you see that your plant is looking a bit miserable and uh, wrink wrinkled leaves, then it's a sign that it's dehydrated. So this is what it looks like. It's a fast grower as well, uh, putting out new shoots quite easily. So, what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Okay, okay. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video uh, and the comments are welcome and I will see you next time. Bye!